he can join in too. Right? Literally, that's how she said it. I'll never forget. My cousin popped up like, what? My cousin got a hold of him. He had to finish her, okay? Finish her. Hanging off the bed. She, child, she needed him, not me. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that was a good executive decision in that moment. I'm glad she asked him to join. I'm glad everything worked out the way it was supposed to work out. Handle her. I'm going to just go ahead and go to sleep. At least 7 o'clock in the morning. Her mama comes in the house. We was in her mama room, bruh. Sleep on in there. <laughs> Are you here? Boo boo! Boo! Boo boo! What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm coming back with another mukbang, yeah? All I did was cook some chicken, toss some uh, cream of mushroom up in that thing, and, um, you know, put it together. It became a meal. You get what I'm saying? It became a meal. Let me boomerang that thing real fast. Welcome y'all, welcome back to the freaking channel. Um, so I gave y'all a story time the other day about how, you know, me and my cousin had to sneak up out of the situation. I'm gonna give y'all a story time about my other cousin. And I know y'all probably, I don't know if y'all think I be lying or not. I don't see nobody be like, nigga, you lying. I be dead ass serious. I have had some things go on. Pray with me. All right, so this what happened. At one point in my life, I was staying at a friend's house, okay? Similar to 30. <laughs> I was like, last time I stayed with somebody, I was, it was, I was 23. Uh, it's okay. I was around like 20 years old, maybe in this situation. And, um, this girl I had met at the club, you know what I'm saying? I thought she was so sexy, y'all. Well, she she was sexy. She was sexy. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. So, one day we texting, we going back and forth. She was like, pull up. I'm like, oh, you just, you just want me to pull up? She was like, uh, yeah, nigga, pull up. So I got this rule. I haven't got this rule now. If I mess with you, you a woman, you stay far, I gotta spend the night. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't got time. It depends, because in the situation now, you might not want to be up in there spending the night. But that night, I ain't feel like driving back home. It was about a 45 minute drive, okay? So boom. I was like, oh, you go with me. She stay a little far. Hopefully she got a friend over there on my own. He was like, whatever, I don't care if she got a friend or not, I'll come. So bad. We go. And we get there. She got slow music on, you know what I'm saying? Got the mood right as she I am. Right be them three. So I thought. So boom. My cousin is in there. It was a, uh, a gay guy uh, that was her, well, that was there with her. My cousin's not gay, so that was dead. He was like, I'm not sitting out there with dude, because I don't know if he gonna try. I'm like, all right, whatever, we could just go, you know what I'm saying? And just come in the room. Now maybe, <laughs> I don't know, I, I ain't gonna say he wanted to come in there for, you know, to watch or nothing. Well, yeah, I am. My cousins, you know, being a guy and having a girl lesbian that, uh, okay. Being a guy and having a girl cousin that's a lesbian gets a little itchy. 
what I'm saying? Because they be wanting to see stuff, you know? And not that they looking at me. You know, they're probably looking at shot or whatever. He was like, bro, I'm coming down. I'm just going to sleep. I swear I'm just going to sleep, right? So the nigga actually went to sleep. I ain't even gonna lie. In the moment, because we... I like four playing shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to touch y'all on you, kiss you, and all that. Things change when you get older with certain people. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, that's what I wanted to do. She was so fine. I just, you know what I'm saying? I can't even eat. So, boom. You know, we getting to it. Um, mm -hmm. We're kissing. Yep. And as things progress, she got rough with me. Bruh. I'm not talking about any kind of rough. You get what I'm saying? I'm a teddy bear. You cannot be rough with me. I am. I don't like it. I don't approve of it. It ain't for me. Pulling my hair ain't for me. I can't do it. I can't. We can't do it. Before I smash any woman, I ask her, do you pull hair? Because I got a lot of hair. You know what I'm saying? Do you pull hair? Look at the delicacy. You get what I'm saying? I've had these dreads for eight years and I've had a lot of ass. Okay? And uh, don't pull my hair. But this one right here in particular. Not only did she want to pull hair, she wanted to scratch. Bear claw head ass. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, bruh. I think by this time I was giving her head or something. This is not for me. No, I wasn't. I was about to. She rough with the foreplay. So boom. She said, he can join in too. Right? Literally, that's how she said it. I'll never forget. My cousin popped up like, what? <laughs> like, you were asleep, nigga. I thought you were asleep. What? He was like, you can join in too, right? So he like, bet. Like, Nick, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey. <laughs> cool. I'm like, yeah, bro. I don't even care. <laughs> he was like, all right, bet. All the reason why I said that, cause she was rough. I knew I was gonna slide right off the bed. You get what I'm saying? I knew I was gonna let him go, and I was done. <laughs> I, was, I did not want it, right? So boom. I start, you know what I'm saying? Uh, eating, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what he was doing, cause clearly he's my cousin. I'm not paying any attention. <laughs> I'm just trying to. You know what I'm saying? Stay right there, do my thing. She's scratching me up. She is scratching me up. I can't do it. So, boom, I got up out of her. Ah! Ah! <laughs> my cousin got a hold of her. He had to finish her, okay? Finish her. Mm-mm. I can't do it. So I didn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I was done. So boom, I slide off the bed. I let them go at it like two bears, bro. Both of them skinny, by the way. But this is also another situation, kind of like the uh, the the story time I told you the other day. Because after he, uh, you know what I'm saying, tore her ass up, he did. I ain't gonna hold you. I was a high five. I'm like, hey, hey, good. You did that. Hanging off the bed, she, she, child, she needed him, not me. You get what I'm saying? I'm glad that was a good executive decision in that moment. I'm glad she asked him to join. I'm glad everything worked out the way it was supposed to work out. So, boom, after we done, we all in the same room. I think I slept on the floor. And he, my cousin was sleeping with her. I ain't give a shit, but I, I handle her. I'm gonna just go ahead and go to sleep. At least seven o'clock in the morning, her mama comes in the house. She's like, y'all gotta go. Mm-mm. 
We was in her mama room, bro. In her mama bed. If I'm lying, I'm flying. We was in her mama bed. I know. I know. Child, her mama was like, "Who the hell for me? Who you got in my bed? Who you got in my room?" Girl, I just knew. I just knew it was over for us that day too. But she was nice. Not only that. We moved swiftly and professionally right on up out the house. <laughs> Real, I'm talking about, let me get the hell up out of here. Okay. Man, we got outside and started dying laughing. Like, me and both of my cousins. Boy cousin. <laughs> I know I had some crazy situations. Listen, my other boy cousin told me to tell y'all about the time. <laughs> about the time. <laughs> about the time I had my 500 pound at the house. Alright, so boom. Remember I told y'all I did it with 500 pounds. If y'all don't remember the story time, I would say go find it. But if you want me to do the story over again, I can. Look. Boom. This is after 400 pounds and I already gave me that mouth. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 had, I had to get some more. So, I'm like, yo. Pull up. She was like, nigga, pull up. I'm walking, right? I was like, alright, I'll meet you halfway and everything. Met her halfway. Walk with him. Got to the house. We was at my grandma's house. Terrible! I was young. We was at my grandma's house. And child. <laughs> my grandma has a very narrow hallway. I'm talking about really like. If I had a. Like these. It about like these. So, she had to walk through the hallway to get to the room. And obviously, we being sneaky, so my grandma don't need to hear what the hell we got going on. My cousin looking out for me, boom. We good. I'm like, hurry up. Like, come on. So, y'all. <laughs> Dead silent. Dead silent. You know you're supposed to just be like... Now you don't have to creep, creep on in there. <laughs> Are you here? Boo 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 boo. <laughs> oh my! But I'm talking about she walked through the hallway. It was a damn, uh, um, like a closet for uh, what's it called? Towels and stuff in the in the hallway. Girl, she walked through that hallway. She already had to. She already had the squirrels up in there. <laughs> she took the damn closet door off the hinges. Do you hear me? I don't know. Her body took the door off. It was just like. <laughs> she squirrels in there the door went with her you hear me it went with her girl my grandma done came in there cause at this point I'm like get your, get, get your ass in the room like, my grandma about to come in here we had to go distract my grandma real quick <laughs> bruh she heard it she came in there like what was that <laughs> like my grandma got selective hearing. Whatever she want to hear, that's what she decides she want to hear. She heard that, okay? I'm like, Grandma, I don't, I don't even drop. We drop something, something, something. We told my grandma, Lord. She was like, Quit making all that damn noise in my house, bro. She took the closet door with her. You know what I mean? In the room. 
We had to figure out how to put that thing back on the end. <laughs> I'm dead. That was hilarious. I wish you would have answered the phone, bro. That shit was hilarious. He the one told me to tell y'all a story time. We got so many stories. It's crazy. From about 18, from 17 to like 22, I did nothing but raise hell. <laughs> okay? It was crazy. But y'all definitely just stay tuned in. I'm going to give y'all some more stories. I'm telling you. My life has been a fool, okay? But, anyway, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the story time. Go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And we'll go to the next video. Peace out.